Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3Dtech.com. In this episode, we're going to be starting the build of the S500. So we've got all the parts laid out here, and we're going to tackle this in a couple different phases. However, what I want to do is kind of share a little bit of the layout. So we have both the bottom and the top circuit boards, we have the arms, and we have the carbon fiber legs, and we have the carbon fiber extension rods. Uh, we have the battery mounting uh, hardware here and we have the supports for the rods here we have some number two screws and some number three screws it looks like we have uh, possibly two sets of number threes uh, both a silver and a black I'm not sure what that's for the uh, instructions aren't very clear so we're just gonna have to go through and play it by ear of how this gets assembled um, because it's showing that we have uh, 20 pieces of the M2s, which is about right right here. And then it shows um, 16 pieces of the M3s. I wonder if these aren't for intended for the motors. Um, because I'm not sure if that looks like 16 pieces. Not 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That doesn't look like 16 pieces in there. Uh, but it looks like it comes with some from the motor. So we're just going to play this by ear. However, I'm going to tackle this in a couple different phases. So both a top section, um, a main section, and then the battery section are with the rods for, for the gimbal in that. So let's go ahead and break this down. So I'm going to start by building the first section, which is going to be a combination of these arms and these brackets. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to use the number two screws to go in there. Um, now, one of the things I'm going to do, and I recommend, is I'm going to use some blue Loctite. So this will keep it from vib the screws from vibrating loose, but it will allow them to be uh, removed in the future. So I highly suggest that I've got a little cup here so I don't mess up the, the work area with it. And uh, so again, and I'm going to kind of fast forward through this section so you can kind of see me do it. But, you know, again, it'll be pretty straightforward because each one of these has three screws which will go into it and mount it. And so let's go ahead and assemble this piece. Now, one of the things I want to break in here from the time lapse, so what I've done to make this a little bit easier is I've, I've connected all four arms with one screw at the end here, and then now what I'm going to do is this is going to make it easier because I can just put the Loctite and drop in all the rest of the screws and tighten them down, so a little bit of a build tip. Okay, so here we go. We have the top of the copter, uh, or the quad, put together. So uh, now, one of the things that might not be evident, but the uh, what happens is the standoffs then mount uh, something like this. The um, I'm trying to see how this lines up, but. Uh, these these four you know well sorry two on each so uh, eight holes will line up with the respective holes on this bottom plate ah here we go so it lines up on the diagonals like this so and this this is what has the offset it keeps the offset to mount whatever in between um, there that you want to mount uh, because again, this is primarily the bottom board is the power distribution board, uh, which in this initial build we probably won't use, but that'll be a different story for the second part of this. But I just wanted to show you how that goes together. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this piece aside for the time being, and then what we're going to do is now focus on building this this bottom piece, which is pretty straightforward, because what's going to happen, uh, in short, we'll have to loosen up these, 
because these are cinched down. These are our carbon fiber feet. And wow, I tell you what, guys, these are really, really light. And so um, we want it tipped. I guess it really doesn't matter which way you put them. So again, we'll put this in here. And so we want the leg so it's going to end up sort of like that. I want to make sure I'm getting that in the frame. And then so we want to tighten these up, cinch these down. Now you don't want to get these too tight because this part here is simply plastic and you can break it. So you want to snug it up tight. And again, we'll do the other one in a similar fashion. And, uh, whoops, I forgot i got to loosen, loosen these up. Um... again let's loosen it up and we pop this in it takes a little bit to get it in there but not bad and again I just kind of set it set it down and get it kind of lined up and then tighten it up all right now this part's set so then the way that uh, these then go on I want to see something here um, I believe these will take number three screws and not number two screws. See, these are the number twos that we use for the arms. So I'm going to push these back here. And then I'm going to go for, I believe these are some number threes. Just want to check this before I start the assembly. Yep, these are number threes. And then what happens is these go into these four holes. So again, I'm going to put a little bit of Loctite. Oops. Extra set of hands would be handy. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this this other leg to uh, so it uh, stands up a little bit easier for me to do the other bolt. So I'm just going to do one screw in each side. Okay, we have the base complete, and that's how it looks. Now we need to assemble this piece. This piece gets, is going to be a little bit more interesting. Uh, the way it looks, that the way it kind of looks, we have um, looks like we have our own sets of screws for these. Um, pretty lightweight screws. I'm a little bit surprised. Looks like they go in here, and somehow they pop in there the instructions aren't overly clear of how they go okay so these actually go into this board so these actually attach to this kind of going like this if you see what i'm saying so let's go ahead and let's assemble this piece first Now something I just realized, there's a top and a bottom, I didn't notice that, so I put this one on backwards, so I need to fix that and I need to reverse it. So take a look where it's, um, you know, got the countersink for the screws, and that's the right way, don't do it the wrong way like I just did. Live and learn.
Okay, so we now have this piece assembled. So, as mentioned, make sure you check the countersinks and you align it correctly, and so it looks like everything is is good there. Now, what we need to do is install the um, mounts onto this main bracket. And what we have are these uh, mounts, and I think these these are going to take a number two. And the way it looks, um, that's what it looks like. And it looks like that these mount right in here. So let's go ahead and mount those up. One note, I think I'm going to try installing these rubber grommets in there first before I mount them. It really doesn't say to do that, but it doesn't say not to do it either, so I'm going to do it. Because I think that'll be easier than post-processing these. Okay, so we have those mounted, and uh, we can again come now and take these rods and get them out of the package. Okay, so uh, we got this mounted, so uh, as you saw, we pushed the rods out. The camera kind of kicked out uh, part way through the, the rods, but I think you got the idea. So, and you can kind of see it here. So I've pushed the rods to the front because this is how I'm going to mount my camera. And then I'm going to adjust these up a little bit uh, more as we go through this because, again, I got the power here at the back. Let me, sorry, push this forward. So I got the power here in the back. So the, the battery mounting will be down here, and uh, again, if I go to use this, uh, the battery cables will come up in the rear. And then basically what's going to happen is now the we're going to bolt the hexacopter piece, or not the hexacopter, I don't know where, quadcopter piece uh, up here. So let's go ahead and uh, finish this off. Oh, one thing to note, there is a directional indicator. So you want this to be going to the front of your copter, which is going to obviously be away from the battery. Okay, so here we are, completely assembled uh, S500 frame, got everything set up, pretty sturdy. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is, uh, at least for the first go-around, I'm going to uh, actually mount the old, I think, up-air electronics on this and uh, see how it does. So, let, let, let's just take a quick look. So while not pretty, here's the rough up air electronics and it actually does fit pretty decently on the top of this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to 3D print a mount to go up here. And then uh, actually, let's see, where is all the pieces? So here's the receiver and control board I'll place back on there. And uh, I'm missing the, oh, here's the uh, GPS. And so the... Um, GPS I'm going to actually mount out here or something like this. I'm not sure. 3D print something uh, along that line. It looks like this arrow points this way. So I'm going to 3D print a mount for the uh, 
uh, GPS also to mount on here. So I'm going to try to mount this, uh, create a 3D printed uh, mount that encapsulates this whole electronic assembly and simply just mount it on the top and then wire in the motors and then bring the power up you know unsolder this put in regular leads and then have my lipo battery underneath and uh, I'm, I'm anticipating this actually should work pretty good so hopefully you found this interesting if you did give it a thumbs up hey subscribe button is going to be coming up over there pretty soon if you're not a subscriber please do you got comments hit us up below i'm happy to answer them and hey we'll see you in the next video as we continue this build cheers